Spyro, please hurry and save the Dragon Masters. Well, geez, I was gonna do that, but at least give me time for my intro. So impatient sometimes. Hello, friends, this is Seth of the Cygnus LPs, here for some more Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, in which we won't be entering any dragonflies, but we will be getting some more of them. So yeah, I, I honestly don't quite know why the game is called Enter the Dragonflies. I guess because you, you want the dragonflies to enter, so you're like a king and you're going all, ENTER DRAGONFLIES! Or like, rather, ENTER THE DRAGONFLIES. Yeah, and finally I caught Steffi here. Alright, yeah. So, sometimes they can run away from you, and I've had a few moments where it's kind of tough to catch them. Because they can be kind of jerks sometimes, but it's okay. We, we, we don't blame them. They're just scared and lonely and uncatchable. And I'm using bubbles to try to fight this weird ninja thing. That's probably not the best idea. I don't know. If, if any of you can kill ninjas with bubbles, let me know. That would be pretty interesting to, you know, discuss. Anywho, so yeah, you can grab a few gems. Like I said, gems will be important for once. And they're really not that important in the game, but for now, they're pretty important to get. You'll see why in a bit. So that's why I'm going out of my way to get useless little rocks on the floor that may or may not be shiny. Okay, well, they're not useless, because they're shiny. I mean, come on. Shiny stuff is good. Uh, yeah, so let's kill some more ninjas. You have frogs over there. Frogs are this world's equivalent to sheep, which basically means if you burn them, butterflies come out of their guts. Yay! Oh, this, this logic make you happy. Um, when you kill an enemy for the first time in the game, enemies respawn as you leave, but when you kill them for the first time ever in the game, they drop a gem. So if you're going for all gems, you need to kill all enemies. That's one thing you've got to memorize. Memorize. Well, I guess you have to memorize the placements of the enemies you killed if you want to go back for all gems later, but let's not get into that. Let's... <laughs> do I really want to do this? I, I want it to be the, the great elder. Fine, I'll free the elder master things. Ah, Spyro, thank goodness you had the sense to free me from that icy cage. Who would have thought the Riptox would dare invade the sacred Dragonfly Dojo? Spyro, do what you can to return the Dojo to its peaceful state by freeing all of the Dragon Masters. Remember, Spyro, the way of the Dragon is to be a Dragon. What does that even mean? Because, you know, no, the way of the Dragon is to be a... Sheep. Yeah. Okay, no. Anywho, so yeah, as you can see, the Dragon Elder's name was Bruce. Um, I hear that uh, they're actually some of the characters in the Dragon Dojo were named after famous martial arts actors and whatnot, which is kind of cool. But, aside from that little bit of trivia, I think we will just continue on disregarding those gems. As important as they may be, I don't think they're that important that I will go all the way back to get some gems. Because we have some more precious gems here, and you know, so long as we're making money, who cares how much? Hmm, well, so yeah, apparently this game likes. I don't even know. Apparently that thing is fat. Uh, okay, I know, like, Sparks is a very sassy person, but come on! Look at that thing! It's skinny as heck! But I guess that is considered fat, so you cannot just hold B. By the way, you do hold B to dash, if anyone's wondering. And you can kill most enemies like that, but apparently this guy is too fat. As you can see, clearly fat right there. So, okay, we can't kill him like that, so you're gonna have to burn him in the bum or in the face. It doesn't really matter where you burn him, but I like saying burning in the bum, because it's so much funnier when you burn someone in the buttocks. Uh, anywho, so we've got more ninja guys, and yes, how are you guys doing today? This is, for me, this is New Year's Eve, but I'm actually uploading this on New Year's, so Happy New Year's, guys. Um, here, the Fairy, will you give me Happy New Year magic? Or, or no. <laughs> Oh, okay, so apparently that fairy will zap me with New Year magic. Oh, does that mean I won't get checkpoints on any other day other than New Year? No, those are basically the checkpoints in this game. Believe it or not, it is kind of easy to die. If you're wondering how you die, notice how sparks became blue. 
When you get hit by an enemy, Sparks will slowly change color until Sparks disappears. And if you get hit when Sparks disappears, you have no one to take the blows for you. Unless we catch this guy and use him as our blow-taking hey, slave. Blow-taking. Uh, never mind. Anywho, so now that we've got him, and I would show you, but you know, I'm not that cruel to my buddy Sparks, so I won't get hit on purpose. Ouch. Or will I? Uh hmm. Yeah, so if you see, look at this. Yeah, see, I am that cool. And it took him long enough to hit us, geez. So yeah, it goes from yellow to green to blue, then he disappears. When he disappears, he won't actually go out and grab gems that are near you, so you'll have to walk on gems on your own if you want to collect them. But you can, of course, remedy that with the friggin' butterflies that you can get by killing just about anything, because everything in friggin' Spiral Land needs dragonflies, apparently. And what... Okay, so I was kind of being attacked by this guy, but... Sure. Tree. You, this is so not important right now. I'm getting attacked by a ninja. Like, really? Get my kite out of the tree for me, Spiral. I can't reach it because there's nothing here to stand on. Just me. Really? Really? Okay, there. So, so now we can talk to you. But we won't because we don't like helping out children. Or rather, we can't help him out yet. So, yeah. There, there, there may be something in it for us, because if video games has taught me anything, it's that when you help someone, you get rewarded for it. But, yeah, we can't really help him right now. So, I mean, you could try all you want, but I'm pretty sure there's no way to get up there. But if you head up here, on the other hand, we get rewarded for helping no one, except ourselves, by getting this room here. So I guess we will have to bring that somewhere. Ouch. So yes, and now I believe we should thaw out that Dragon Elder. Still having second thoughts about this, but I guess I unthawed one of them, so my, my dreams of dragon domination are not very likely anymore. Spyro-san, I'm sorry the dojo is in such a state for your visit. It's usually a haven of tranquility. It is here that dragonflies grow up and train to be dragon companions. Protecting young dragonflies is a dragon sensei's highest calling, you know. And Spyro, your efforts will result in much reward. Much reward? Ooh, goody. Didn't, what did I tell you? Help someone? Get rewarded. But apparently his reward is opening a door. Yeah, because you know, you couldn't open a door by yourself, so you need to be rewarded by some magic guy opening a door for you. Yep, sounds about right. So yes, and now we'll get some of this. And I guess I'll kill this guy because he's looking at me funny. Yeah, don't you love being in power? Anywho, so I am going to kill this thing, because Sparks is looking awfully greenish, and as much as I love green dragonflies, um, I guess I'm just going to turn him back to normal. So next off, before we end off the video, um, you know, I believe if we head over here, there is a dragonfly waiting for us somewhere. You have a few dragonflies that you have to do challenges and stuff to get, but there are a few who just kind of stand in front of you. Hence the one that's coming up here. There is one here, right? I guess that's someone else. You know what? I am going to just collect gems for the rest of the video. That's kind of boring, I know, but like I said, they do get kind of important. So I'm going to do a bit of that, and then we will end off the video here, guys. So in the next part, we will continue on in this amazing dragon dojo here. And we will unthaw the rest of the elders to, you know, join Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan and make us the ultimate karate movie. Or martial arts, mis mixed martial arts movie, I guess I should say. So yes, I will see you guys next time when we will sidetrack from that, actually, and go check out what's in that door. See you guys then.